Hello and welcome to Slightly Impressive Broken Family Trees. My name is Grifter and we are playing The Sims 3. Okay, so somebody requested that I show the family tree because it's getting confusing about who's related to who. However, it doesn't seem to work quite right. Like, it'll show it'll show Garrosh's family tree. Like, he's the newest baby. And we've got Varian is, is his mom. Ariel, the person we downloaded, is his his mom. Did I say mom for Varian? Varian's his dad. Um, <laughs> his parents are Agra, who is still alive, but younger than she should be, although she is an elder now. Um, and then her dead husband, Mirage, whom she married when he was already old, and he didn't last very long. But like when we click on Agra, doesn't show us. I can't I can't go to Family Tree for Agra or Arlo for some reason. I can go for Ariel, but I mean that doesn't tell us anything. Varian's is blank. It doesn't make any sense. Illidan doesn't have one. Do the pets? Uh, okay. Uh, Invincible's got his little family tree. Uh, Greymane's got his. But it just doesn't work right. So I don't know. You'll just have to figure it out. Or watch all the videos again. You could do that. That would be great. Um. Okay, you guys are standing right on top of each other somehow. Um, was the baby barking? Because that's sort of what it seemed like. Oh, maybe Greymane was barking at something. That seems more likely. What do you want, Greymane? What do you want? Oh, do you need to, like... Are you? Stop it! Stop it, Bone Hilda! Stop! Did you pee on the floor, Greymane? Somebody go yell at Greymane! Stop discussing TV shows with Illidan and yell at Greymane! Look, not right now, okay? We don't care about musical assemblies. You're a writer, okay? Scold for being a piggy. P in parentheses. Uh, that's weird. Okay, being a piggy is what we call peeing indoors now. I wasn't aware of that. I thought being a piggy meant you ate a lot, or maybe were messy. I guess that's where it's coming from. You're messy because you're peeing indoors like a piggy. Listen, stop worrying about your belly and scold- whoa, camera, whoa. Scold the dog. Scold the dog. Scold the dog. You want to teach him to walk? I guess if you have to. Quit job? No! You can't quit your job. Okay, are you just not going to scold him? Nope. We just, we don't care. What are you doing? Why are you patting Illidan on the head? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, the baby is coming. Oh, okay. Make sure she's at home by the hospital. Okay. Uh... Yeah, yeah, everybody is appropriately freaking out. Go to the hospital. Go, go now. Varian, you should go with her. Or just continue doing that. Or stretch. Okay, you can also do that. And go back to sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, have fun at the hospital. Honey, uh... Let me know when you get back. I'll say hi to the baby at some point, maybe. Try not to forget all about him and leave him on the floor. Oh, now you get up and go. Why does that always happen? They always just hang out for a couple hours or so, and then they're like, Oh yeah, I should probably go with her. <laughs> Alright, a baby girl! A happy mother and a smooth pregnancy makes for a happy baby. Since it went so well, we'll choose the traits. When does it not go well? How does it not go well? Like, she just... What? Like, her mood meters are just low the whole time or something? Okay, baby girl. Who are we gonna go with? Um, Who have we not had yet what's uh what's that person's name hmm i don't know how to spell it maeve or something i don't know how to spell that we can't go with that uh hmm we could go with ashara i'm not sure i know how to spell that either is it like a s z a is it a z s a r a a s z is 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 there hmm uh, you know what i'm looking it up okay it's a z shara all right ashara that's who we're going with 
Um, current traits, we're going to roll for them. Insane and disciplined. Oh, an interesting combination. You can be both insane, but also disciplined. So you have really focused insanity. Disciplined sims do not fool around. They have the dedication and perseverance to become the best martial artists in town. Oh, no. That's just talking about martial arts. So she's going... <laughs> Ashara is <laughs> going to be insane and lethal. Great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're moving too fast. Uh, look, Farian can't even keep up. We didn't even get to see her. All right, well, we should go home anyway and get, like, a crib ready and stuff. Okay. Um, this baby is going to be taken care of ostensibly by Arlo. Yes, yes, all the insane laughter. Okay. Let's get a crib for Ashara. We'll give her a nice pink one. All right. She can sleep right next to Arlo. He will be so thrilled about that, I'm sure. We're here with our new baby. Let's take a look at her. She's got the same skin tone that pretty much everybody in this family has these days, I think. Just a very tan person. Um, man, Ariel, you just... Man. Uh, the baby does not have Ariel's, Ariel's eyes. I guess Garrosh didn't either, though, right? Like, babies, all, I think they all look the same. So we won't worry too much about that. Um, because, I mean, Garrosh looked normal, and then... Where is he? Oh, somebody put him in the high chair. Wow, someone's actually, like, trying to be a parent. Yeah, so he looked like a normal baby, and then this happened, so... <laughs> I'm so excited that we're gonna have five kids to choose from with these two. It's gonna be great. This generation is fantastic. What do you want? Ah, oh, great, no one cares about you. You're old now. Why don't you go on a date? Nobody wants an old firefighter. Are you even still a firefighter? Yeah, she is. <laughs> oh, that's right. Everybody she worked with was old anyway. So she may or may not have killed that guy. Hey, you put you put her in the wrong bed. <sighs> Alright, fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So, I'm really tired of being in this chair. Uh, do you think, think anybody could maybe let me out? Maybe teach me to walk? Give me some valuable life skills? I mean, he actually seems perfectly entertained. What's he looking at, anyway? I mean, there's kind of a lot going on in this house. What can he see? He can see the dog, he can see Bone Hilda drinking and subsequently peeing all over the floor over and over. We've got Great Grandpa over here finishing who knows what. And uh, I guess he can't see through walls, so that's about it. I don't know what he's so entertained with, then. I guess just the giant skeleton woman. Brian, what are you doing out here? What are you guys doing? Um, okay, I don't know what, like, you came home from the hospital and just decided to go stand in the backyard. I don't understand why, but, I mean, you know what, you know what we need to do. <laughs> yeah, he's so excited already. Packy Mac, Packy? Patty McIntyre wants to know if Arlo would like to go on a date. Why not? I don't see any reason why he shouldn't. We've completely given up hope of Medivh going out with her, so it's fine. Okay, guys. It's time to get it on. Um, <laughs> her voice. <laughs> I never noticed her voice before. Why does she sound like that? Come on, when, when am I going to be irresistible? There, now I am. Alright, try for baby. Let's do this. You're both extremely fertile, so you better have twins this time. I'm disappointed that you didn't already. Look, that's enough making out. Get down to business. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Guys. 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 We have other things to get to here. Okay. Just gonna... We're just gonna fast forward. We're like, hey, you wanna? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Da -da -da. All right. Listen for the lullaby. Yes! All right. 
And that has been handled. Baby number three on its way. Hopefully also number four, maybe even number five as well. Alright. So, what we need to do now... Arlo. Okay, let me... Oh yeah, he's on his date. How's the date going, Arlo? Is your, uh, is your new Safari Man outfit getting all the ladies? <laughs> he's continuing his strategy of bringing the baby with him. Oh, weird. Some kind of crazy effect going on with the water. Uh, let's just look at it from the other angle. So, uh, I really like flowers. Oh, well, I'm a little bit magic and I can ride brooms. In addition to being an amazing great-grandfather. Why, yes, I do look good for my age, don't I? Um, well, are they... I mean, they had a pretty good... How Did they have a good thing going? They did. They know each other really well. I mean, they're just friends. I guess there's not a whole lot of attraction there, but... Hmm. Alright. You know what? We'll leave you guys to it. He wants to go fishing. Are you just going to put the baby down? Please tell me you're not really about to do that. Where are you, where are you putting Garrosh? Let's go set him down uh, on this rock over here so I can go fishing. Where are you going, Arlo? Okay. Okay. So you needed to set him down on this peninsula right here or what? Now you're still just carrying him around. Why did you walk all the way over here? Arlo, what are you doing? Okay, you set him down there. Great. And then you picked him back up. Uh, I thought you were going to go fishing. What do you need? Improve your athletic skill, then return to the stadium? I don't care about that. What does he want to do? He wants to find a rock. Okay. Will that really bring you happiness, Arlo? He's like, wait, to go fishing, I need to put this baby back where where I got it. Um, your date just decided to read a book instead of talking to you. That's not... Wait, is he in love now? He's in something. But she's just a friend who... Hmm. Who's this? Hua Qian. From China. How did you meet him? Arlo, I don't understand your life at all. Arlo... I think is the only one, Arlo and Agra are the only ones who are going to remember Onyxia. And I just wanted somebody to try to go visit her. Because I want to see if she's still alive. I want to see where Roscoe's living these days. Because he came by, but I don't know if he's still married to her or what. I don't know what's going on. Okay, put the baby down. And then don't worry about fishing. Put, here, put, put the baby down. I'll let the baby down. She lives in this house, right? Yeah, okay, visit. Arlo has chosen to go somewhere without his group. Do you want him to continue? Well, I guess. I mean, what are we gonna go there? Visit lot with date? Okay, sure. You know what? Bring your date with you. Who cares? <laughs> We're gonna go catch up. Who's trying to chat with him? Is he on a date with someone else now? What are you doing here, Frickadella? Why did you decide to just come by and hang out? Greymane, Greymane, what are you doing? Look, I know it's not a great painting, but that's not okay. Somebody scold him. Uh, is anybody even here? Scold him. Uh, being destructive, yeah. Jeez. This is like part of our family's livelihood. Alright, did you make it there yet? Why are you still in the car? Are we waiting? <laughs> uh, okay. Are we waiting for What's-Her-Face to show up? Patty Mayonnaise? Where is she? Is she still way over there where we were having a date? And here we are. I guess we're here without her. I don't know. I don't understand what's happening. Where's... Where's my date that I'm trying to take to my niece's house? Oh, they're not even here. There's nobody home. Alright. Well, then we're just going to camp out for a while. What can we do? Here, go kick their flamingo. Or wait for your date to show up. 
I don't think she's coming, bro. Oh, there she is. Hi. Thanks for coming to this empty <laughs> lot with me. I mean, it's not empty, but they're not home. I think some of my family members live here. I'm not sure. Excuse me. I need to go kick this flamingo. Uh, <laughs> she's like, this is ridiculous. I'm calling one of my friends to complain about you. Kick it. Just... Just, you know? uh, yeah, yeah, take that, Flamingo. Okay, stand it back up. That's that's kind of mean to just destroy it like that. Okay. Is anybody... Hey, Roscoe. Hey, buddy. Hi, how you doing, Nerdu? Don't call him a Nerdu. Alright, let's visit. Let's visit now. Is she going to hang out? Did she leave? Alright, that's fine. We didn't need her. Nabersal. Nabersal. Are you coming? Okay. He's like, what? I need to take a shower. I just got home from work. What do you want? Hey. Mardunsa. How have you been? I see you're still married to Anixia, I guess. What's on your counter here? Oh, it's a phone. Look at this tiny little kitchen area. Um, well. Thanks for letting me into your trailer. It's been, oh, it's been fun. Is, is Anixia here now? Hey, Anixia! What? What's the matter? Did you break their toilet? Arlo. Oops, uh, sorry. Hey, go go say hi to her. You know what? Cast a charm on her. Just so she'll be your friend. What? What? I mean, I just needed to use the bathroom, Roscoe. Chill out. Everything's fine. I definitely didn't break anything, if that's what you're worried about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving. Uh, hello! Good to meet you, legendary vampire person from my past. Now you have good luck charm, and we're friends, right? Um, what else can we cast on her? That's it. He's really not. Let's let's introduce ourselves now. Stop making apples. That's useless. So I guess this is just. Oh no! Oh no! This is a horrible idea. No, no, she's your niece. And she's married. Oh, jeez, what have I done? I forgot she asked him out one time. Um. So, I guess this is just the life they've been living. Here. They haven't had any kids or anything. I don't know if Sims will have kids on their own. It's kind of sad if they don't. But, also kind of good, so nobody accidentally marries their cousins or anything. Yeah, so we just live here and... And we're maintenance people, and like I lift weights and stuff. And we eat food when we feel like it. You know, we don't really have to because we're vampires, but you know, sometimes you want to eat. Yeah, I know how you feel. I used to be a vampire. I don't know if you know that or not. That's why I'm not dead yet. It's also why you're not dead yet. I guess this is just their life that they're going to live. And we should really just leave them to it instead of reading books. Okay, who else should we check on? We need to check in on Medivh, right? We moved him out to this place, I believe. This crazy place with like a moat. Why can we see in this place? What's going on over here? Who are you people? What are you doing in Medivh's house? And how come we can see you? It's like it thinks we live here. I don't understand. Who are you? Omar Rosado? Do you live here? Who are you? Andrea Vickers? What happened to Medivh? He's a vampire. He can't be dead yet. Oh, Medivh lives over here. He lives in the house next door, I guess. <laughs> Um, I thought he lived in the really... Man, that's just... I don't understand. Okay, just go over here. Hey, okay. Oh, he's got himself, uh... Some sort of pet. He has a dog named Noodle Little Dog. <laughs> why... Why did you name yourself... Why did you name your dog Noodle Little Dog? It's like a little poodle thing. Are you a witch? Will you feed me? My master doesn't feed me food. 
Okay, well, congratulations on buying yourself a dog. <laughs> um, go tell him a joke or something. How well do you know Medivh? Hardly at all. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, he's just been living here, I guess. At this giant bathroom. Hank Goddard wants to know if Algar would like to go on a date. Hey, why not? Tiny little kitchen. Um, weird little living area with a little TV and windows. I mean, it's a nice view, though. You've got the statue and the beach over there. That's a very nice view. Look at that. How cool would it be to live here? What else you got? Oh yeah, he has the indoor pool. That, oh, I guess it's not connected, but there's also an outdoor pool. Yeah, he's doing quite well for himself. With this little dog to keep him company. Alright, just wanted to check in on you. Just wanted to see how things are going. I'm still alive. Uh, still ugly. You should really come by and see... Uh, the new generation sometime see the ugly genes that you did not inherit and therefore we're outcasted from the family but you know just want to check in okay I'm so glad we did that what are you guys doing where are you going where are you going Illidan where are you going with the child are you kidnapping your n nephew yeah feet on floor what floor Illidan, what are you doing? Illidan. Are you going to feed him on the floor of the graveyard? Secret techniques. Travel to China, not right now. So, yep. Okay. Well, you brought him out here to the graveyard. Look, this is where all the ghosts come from. Here, let's have a meal. Illidan, why have you done this? <laughs> This is not an appropriate place to feed the baby. Okay, well, I'm gonna go make myself a drink. So, you have fun out here in the graveyard. Really? You left him all the way out there? He's gonna freeze to death. Well, I mean, I guess there's no seasons. It's not winter. <laughs> Bone Hilda is going to go check on him, I guess. Is that what's happening right now? Yeah, except that you can't, so you're probably going to go make a drink, just like Illidan. Okay, well, I hope the ghosts take care of him or something. Where is he going to go? He wants to go back in the house and play. Okay, he's just going to have to take care of himself, I guess. It's just how it goes in this family. Oh, Agra, how's your date? Seems to be going well. Uh, you're in a parking lot. Okay, so you went on a date. Ah, look at my teeth. Do you see how I have teeth? Oh, you got teeth too. Oh, we're meant to be. Um, are we on a date at someone's house? That's not a thing. Like, why does everybody keep going on dates at people's houses? Is that really where I am? Like, what is this place? Is it a store? Maybe this is a store. Yeah. What kind of... Is this the... Oh, yeah. This is like the spooky store, right? Or the store where you buy magic things or something. Okay. Where are you going? You're just going to rock in the rocking chair? Why not? Okay. Well, you do... You do enjoy your date, I suppose. Oh, good. You made it back. Uh, I'm so glad you didn't die out there in the wilderness. You can stay. <laughs> I guess, I guess Illidan sort of subscribes to the belief of like the Spartans, where uh, you just you leave them out in the wilderness, right? And if they can survive on their own and make it back, then then they can stay in the community. You know, he's just he's just looking out for the family as a whole. He wants to make sure the gene pool stays strong. Um, he doesn't seem to understand that we choose people based on ugliness, not on their ability to survive on their own in the wilderness, but... Um, thanks for trying to help, I guess. 
All right, I think it's time to paint another stylized still life. Let's paint a genius one of what? Maybe, um, maybe a ghost if they'll stand still long enough. Here, we want it. We want it to be bigger though. How do we make it a bigger painting? Z and X to zoom in. Well, that's not what I want. I want it to be bigger. Oh well, okay. So... It'll just be... Maybe we need like a portrait. Oh, look at that. It can be the horse and the ghost. Oh, they're too... They didn't stay. Okay. Um, stand still, Jaina. Here, we'll... How about... How about this guy? Is this... I don't even know which ghost... Oh, that's Gustavo. Right, okay. We'll paint a portrait of Gustavo. At the computer. A genius one. Okay. Let the genius begin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, we have some lines. Okay. Everything's are good. Okay, we filled in some areas, it looks like. Um, okay. Oh, we have to pee. Okay. We had to pee so bad, the game locked up on us. Alright. Alright, a little bit more has been filled in. Oh, okay. It does, it does look like... Oh, are we, are we using some sort of cubalism or something? Okay, there's like a grid pattern, but it does look like... Gustavo's ghost at the computer. Alright, is it done? It's not done. Continue, please. I know you need to eat food. Look, you have apples everywhere. Just eat one of those. Alright, it's done! Genius. It's a genius painting. Uh, go ahead and sell that. Alright. Great. Thank you for your contribution to the household funds. Alright. I think that's probably... Is this broken? Uh, it seems to be. Oh well, we'll figure that out later. Alright. Uh, Cupcake 2, let's go ahead and feed you. How you doing, Cupcake 2? Uh, what do you think about uh, the people we caught up with? Uh, do, do you miss Anixia or, or Roscoe or Medivh or anybody? Uh, no. No, no I don't. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.